Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming uh, and apologies this video is coming a bit late I've been very very busy at work but anyway let's get into this week's Forzathon event uh, which revolves around using the 1967 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray 427 which is a very cool retro muscle car um, and it's very easy to get hold of now obviously this is the car in question if you don't have one you can obviously pick one up for the auction house for fairly cheap if not it will cost you 150000 credits in the auto show now of course i always make a tune and this is it uh, it's called forzathon evg if you want to download it uh, and it's packing 1100 brake horsepower so it will get you through these challenges uh, without any difficulty now the first challenge wants you to get 15 awesome speed skills which is a very very easy one and as i've just shown you there you want to run up and down the highway now this will only take you about one and a half runs uh, as most of the time you'll be getting ultimate speed skills which does count uh, so whether you get awesome or ultimate speed skills it really doesn't matter they both count towards the overall tally of 15 of them um, and again it's very very easy and it's very very quick it will not take you very long uh, it took me about four or five minutes something like that uh, like i said just running up and down the motorway very very simple now the next challenge wants you to earn a total of 125,000 skill score um, and for this i recommend going over to the airfield uh, as there's lots of stuff to smash into you can do all sorts of jumps and drifts uh, and basically uh, you want to hit a total tally uh, of about 25,000 with a multiplier of 5 if you're going to do it all in one run. If not it doesn't matter you can obviously keep playing around in the airfield but again this challenge didn't take me long especially as after doing all the motorway runs I'd racked up a fair amount of score and if you keep that skill score there going uh, you'll get the, second, the third challenge done in no time. Now for the final challenge it wants you to get a total of 9 stars on drift zones uh, and the quickest and easiest drift zone I know is the one at the Horizon Festival called Horizon Donut. Uh, to get three stars on this one, all you need is 30,000 points, but it doesn't matter if you get two stars or one star, uh, as you can just basically do a drift at the end back onto the drift zone uh, and do it all over again. It's very, very quick and easy. Again, this challenge does not take very long, maybe two, three minutes if that, depending on how many stars you get on each run. Uh, but this Forza Thumb was a very, very quick and easy one, uh, so it shouldn't actually take you guys too long maybe 10 minutes max uh, and there's a very easy couple hundred uh, fours of thumb points for you there to go and spend in the skill shop um, and there's some fair few decent cars in there the Lamborghini Revent on Forza Edition is quite a good one actually um, but anywho guys I hope that you enjoyed this video uh, and as per usual I hope it's helped you out if it has please don't forget to drop a like uh, and subscribing would be massively massively helpful as well I do appreciate everyone's support um, I will be re uh, announcing the results as well for the uh, money competition uh, in which there will be three winners uh, so I'm hoping everyone's jumped on board with that uh, so that will be coming out this weekend anyway guys again a massive massive thank you I hope you enjoyed this and all the best take care guys